So Poison Free Public Spaces, uh, Lancaster started um, about three or four weeks ago. Um, me and my wife took a walk down the Mill Creek Trail and we saw that the uh, county park maintenance had used um, a glyphosate based uh, pest herbicide to, um, to stop the, the noxious weeds from coming in. And uh, we made a formal complaint and we talked to the, uh, to the management and they said that if enough people called and, and enough uh, people were interested that they would, um, they would change their policy. So after we, we, we formed a Facebook page, which ended up uh, having about 50, 60 people call. And we had some, a couple meetings with, the, with County Park after that. And uh, the group formed uh, formally. And then we, um, now at, at this point now, uh, in, in collaboration with the park, we have uh, sort of adopted this 52 acres um, in County Park as a place that we can show County Park and everyone else um, how to use, not use herbicides um, to, um, to maintain wild lands. And uh, the, one of the reasons why this area here at County Park, um, the Mill Creek Trail and the Wildflower Trail, this, this part of the park has some very rare plants. Um, so this is one of them right here. This is called Red Trillium. Um, these are some really amazing plants and they're kind of rare. Um, this is a red trillium and this is a stand. We're standing in a stand here right now. There's not, it, this is sort of at the end of their, their cycle here. But, um, you know, some of them can be 35, 40 years old. So they're very rare. They're very close to the trail and the use of glyphosate would have killed them um, so close to the trail. So um, a group of maybe 20 now, we're going to be um, sort of, uh, we adopted this part of the park and we're going to be maintaining it. We're gonna be taking uh, care of the um, noxious weeds and the invasives that have taken a, a, a huge chunk of this uh, 52 acres here. And we're going to, um, and the park is going to leave us sort of to our own devices. Uh, we're only allowed to use hand tools. Um, so we'll be able to, you know, hoe up poison ivy and maybe cut down some stinging nettle. And then we'll be able to get rid of some of the garlic mustard that has really taken hold and some multiflora rose that has really taken hold in this area and some Norway maples and some other invasives that have really got a, a foothold in this area. And we're also going to be replacing a lot of that with the natives that belong here. Things like uh, replanting some trilliums in other places and also um, replanting spice bushes and uh, American ginger and all these uh, all these amazing natives that, that, that really do belong here and that we can replace and after we take out the garlic mustard so we can have a more native, more environmentally sound, sustainable landscape and also a land management strategy for the county park and for the park systems in general to be able to mimic.